Hi, I'm Brian Hill, Senior Product Manager for Wabtech, here to tell you more about Port Optimizer. Wouldn't it be nice to know exactly where your containers are at any given moment? Port Optimizer at the Port of Los Angeles gives real-time tracking information on your containers, improving visibility, efficiency, and throughput. It simply takes the guesswork out of shipping. When logging into Port Optimizer for the first time, you will need to enter the numbers for the containers you wish to track. To do this, simply click on the blue Add button to enter the container numbers into your Port Optimizer view. Once the new window pops up, you will have multiple options for entering container numbers manually or through a batch process. To manually add containers, choose whether you want to use the container number or the bill of lading number. If you choose to add containers by the bill of lading number, all container numbers associated with that BOL will be added. Let's add equipment by the container numbers. Simply type in the list of container numbers you wish to add and click the Submit button. Port Optimizer will add all valid active containers, regardless of carrier or terminal, to your view and will start tracing them. Containers that are not active in our system will be placed in a pending queue to be added automatically once the container becomes active. The other option for adding containers is through a batch method. From the bottom of the page, you can download a CSV template that will allow you to load multiple containers at one time. Just cut and paste container numbers or bill of lading numbers into the template and save it. Then return to the Port Optimizer window and select the Choose File button at the bottom to select the new file you just created. Once selected, hit the Submit button to add the new containers to your view. Just as before, active containers will add automatically and non-active containers will become pending. But what do you do once you're no longer interested in tracking a particular container? Port Optimizer will automatically remove containers 14 days after they have left the terminal, but you can always manually remove containers by selecting the containers you wish to remove using the checkboxes, then selecting the Unclaim button. This will delete the container from all of your Port Optimizer views. You can follow these instructions at any time to add or remove containers from your Port Optimizer views. And that's it! To learn more and to sign up for Port Optimizer, simply go to portoptimizer.com. At Wabtech, we're moving and improving the world.